guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title i'm going to be doing a full get ready with me today but i'm starting off with the hair portion today i'm here with mega look here it says hey your hair your glory they have their facebook pinterest instagram and youtube on the side here then yeah that's what's in the box then first thing i see when i open the box is the hair and then got the rest of the stuff in there now before i get into the hair you guys know i like to show you what else is in the box first i got this little pouch here which is really cute it says mega look here and it has the website listed below and then um on the inside this is what we got <laughs> we have a little headband this is so nice so nice this is gonna come in so handy the back stretches this is gonna be this is gonna come in so handy so so handy so got that in the pouch then we have our wig cap which i feel like is definitely a must when you get your hair packages you have a little edge um comb thing and they also have a clip in there like a little section clip so that's nice we have a like, yeah a wig cap this is actually a wig cap so yeah and we got a wax stick wax sticks have become kind of like an important tool for me since recently when i want to lay my like roots really really flat this like you can't go wrong with it, it doesn't really matter any wax here wax usually works for me you know you just really focus the product at the roots and hot comb it and like your wig will be laying like it's growing from your scalp man so i've really been loving the waxes that's everything that came in the box so to kind of jump into the hair today we're working with top 613 here and i get so happy working with 613 here but for today's video i'm gonna go ahead and rock it as is i just want to go ahead and get cute with this just do a whole quarantine get ready with me just to go ahead and chill out in the house today <laughs> yeah um i'm gonna be coloring this though so you guys have to stay tuned for that i'm literally going to be coloring this when i take it off my head i'm literally going to be switching it up i cannot wait i cannot wait so today is kind of like a mix up because guess what i'm actually going to be doing my makeup in this video and i know how much you guys have been wanting me to do makeup back on youtube so i feel like this is a good way to kind of incorporate it today and give you guys like a full glam so i'm going to actually put all the specifications on this wig down below for you guys um the link and everything this is actually 20 inches long body wave hair now i don't even know if i'm gonna be doing anything much to this probably just shape it a bit for my head I think I might do a center part just because I feel like I'm always doing side parts with the blonde wigs. I feel like I'm gonna do a center part and this looks like it's a 13 by 4. Yeah, it's not a long, like a deep parting space, but it's really nice. The hair feels really good so far. I like when my blonde wigs or my blonde hair, like I, I really look out for how the texture feels because sometimes again and it might be a little like bristle because of all the processing, but this pre feels pretty like soft and silky it feels really nice it doesn't look dry or anything that's something to really look out for when you have your blonde wigs and so it basically it came pre-plucked you guys know for the most part these wigs these is most of them come pre-plucked so that is always a plus so i mean if you're really not really versed on that you can go ahead and try out to install without plucking it but you guys know how i am i'm gonna do the plucking and then i'm gonna proceed to just you know creating the parting and just laying everything super flat so have that nice laid center part vibe and then we're gonna go ahead and just install it so let's go it's gonna be more of like a watch and go kind of thing
know if I showed you guys the construction, but it has like an extra elastic band here in the back. It has adjustable straps as well. It has four combs on the inside. So yeah, that's for how the inside looks. Ew. And if you guys notice, I'm rocking this just as it is. I did not tone it or anything. This is the natural color that it came with or the initial color that it came with rather. Oh my guys, I don't know, it's something more blonde here, like it just lift my spirits. I kind of have to side with my mother now because she's, she's always like, yo, color just make you feel more alive and stuff. Like, I don't know, there's something about color that's just like fun, like it's legit just fun. Okay, so kind of just gonna pull you see how nicely it's just laying already like I have just been obsessed with using the hair wax to just lay my roots until I find something else I'm, I'm not having any problem because the way I use it it doesn't weigh down the hair it just made the portion that I want to make like really flat usually like spray beneath the lace but since recent times I've just been spraying over top and it just kind of just helps it's kind of like a hack for me personally to make the hair the lace rather melt into the skin and look more realistic so and I have not been tinting the lace that's a next thing I realized I haven't like been doing to that I'm looking and trying to figure out whether or not I want to do it today kind of just to give the roots a little bit of color and now that I'm looking at it I feel like I probably do so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of foundation and put you know beneath it so I'm gonna take it back off and I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation on the lace area right there just so that it can look more skin like I mean it looks really good right now but I just really don't want any form of cast just because it's blonde straight from the roots if you guys understand what I'm trying to say so yeah just to make everything look so melted and scalp like that's what I'm gonna do this is one reason why you need to be so careful when you're doing this little hack you, ha you have to be careful because see the foundation kind of spread a little bit too much and kind of messed up the hair here but we're gonna finesse it you know but just to put it out there things do happen we're gonna work around that so I'm just gonna do my regular deck work and as you can see I feel like separate and apart from where the foundation got on the hair which we're gonna work that out as we go along I really love the way the roots are looking now. It looks like it's blending way more with my skin tone. I see where people are requesting that I try out the new Got To Be Spray now. Let me tell you, I literally bought this like two days ago, this brand new bottle, because I ran out and I did not, I wasn't, I didn't even realize that Got To Be came up with a new spray. And you guys, I literally started to see reviews and stuff on it. I'm like, geez, if I had known. So I'm gonna try and get the brand new one to try it out soon. So I can let you guys know how I feel about that. get this question a lot as in as it relates to the sides of my wigs when I get them like sometimes for the most part a lot of them come a little bigger than my head on the sides like it don't always fit you see how far this goes down it's passing my ear so people actually ask if I actually cut off the hair that's on a portion and the answer is yes I mean I have to because I do understand you're gonna be like oh my gosh you just buy the wig and you have to cut off the ear and I really do understand where you're coming from but I mean if it doesn't fit and it looks funny then it's gotta go you know you have to modify it to fit your head properly so sometimes that is the case for me so yes as you can see I'm cutting I am cutting that area so this is the amount of hair that came off no, it measures up perfectly with my ear. 
and that is what we want. We don't want we don't want the wig to look like a barry barry so you have to go bring it back later. <laughs> you have to make them know so you're old. <laughs> We'll go ahead and we let oh my gosh you see what the foundation did it really helped to melt just camouflage the color of the skin right there just camouflage everything and as you can see today i actually laid the middle portion before i did the sides trust me sometimes it all depends on how i'm feeling with how i do certain things me where the lace is so I am so happy I actually use the foundation today not that that has to be the case but as I said it kind of helped to just take away the white cast that would end up being there it would have still blended perfectly but it kind of just muted out the little white look um, and you want to ensure that you don't really have that when you're wearing like light colored wigs or hair like this you know I'm so in the mood. I'm so in a mood to get snatched today. Um, yeah, I actually want to go ahead and kind of refresh my nails today too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't be filming that just because I already did an initial like set. So like um my sister want me to do her nails soon. So when I go ahead and do that, then I'll probably film it. But not to go off topic too much. I said that you guys are really interested in that. Yeah. Um so as you guys can see, I do my brows off camera because my brows just take up so much time and I can't really, while I'm doing my brows, I don't like to speak, I don't want to talk because brows are just so tricky to mess up, you know? Like no matter how much practice and how long you've been doing them, how seasoned you are, like brows, they'll mess up in 0.2 seconds. So I did those off camera. Um, I do have a brow tutorial by the way, so you can check out that i'll probably try to find a link to put it down below it should be down below in my description box so yeah so um definitely want to do cut crease vibes today i feel like i want to do like a really dark transition like brown and black maybe i really don't even know what is the vibe i'm going for here maybe just sultry sexy eyes i really don't know maybe i should do glitter I don't know it's been a long time since I've really dibbled and dabbled I'm gonna base my eyelids with my Il Maquillage um, F I'm flawless <laughs> multi use perfecting concealer this is in the shade number 12 okay so I'm using number 12 and I'm just gonna put this all over my eyes and blend it out I said I wanted this to be a little chit chat. I don't even know what they you know. I don't know. Like I feel like uh, since everything been going on, you know, the whole shutdown and everything, like I definitely have been getting a lot more work done. But it's also like not this is not in relation to like work or anything, but I feel like the fact that we can't go anywhere, like my naga lie, I'd be lying if I sat and told you that it doesn't take a toll on me. But like, because okay, you guys know that from morning, me is not the type of person that goes out a lot. Like I really do. Like I'm not a common face on the road. Like you won't see me at every event, and that's just me personally. I don't want to be at every single event. Um, so I just would go here and there, and boy, I'm a miss little ear and there, man. Now, but I'm a miss little ear and there. Like, sometimes I'd just be like spontaneous and be like, yo, sometimes I'd even be sitting down and I'll film a video for you guys. And just because I might feel that look so much, I'll just get up and say, all right, let's just get up and go out. And if you know, I'm not even have that kind of liberty today, you know, like, wow, man. So no for that reason i'm not okay right now honestly the other day i was at the supermarket and i ran into rush jam and he was like you're okay and i was like no <laughs> i was like none of us not okay i was like none of us are not okay okay 
okay none of us are not okay and that's just the honest truth like we're trying to make the best of the situation because we have to we're not having a choice you know so like that is the truth but best believe that i'm gonna do the best with what i have in terms of staying at home so like we stay home we try to do as much activities as we can but like you say no sometimes it's like you do so much and no more but it, i feel like it's still never know when we have to really get creative guys my teller number that number that um don't give in to the temptation just stay inside please may i beg on it because that is the thing why you know it's prolonging even more a lot of people refuse to just follow through and cooperate you know i'm a really just want this thing to just you know eventually just go away bro like i really really just that's i feel like all of us want that like all of us but some of us sometimes the mental feelings get the bit we and we just do whatever we want for you know them way there but yeah um I'm gonna go in with the brown hair and the black hair and this is Royal Beauty Royal Beauty palette this is a notebook palette so I'm gonna first just go in with the brown this feels so brand new for me to be doing a talk through makeup portion to my video like I haven't done this in so long so oh by the way if you guys need to see like my initial video where I did my nails for the first time i'll link it down below like a lot of people i was surprised that you wanted to see when i did this set that i'm wearing currently the other day like i'm surprised man i am surprised like oh yeah by the way i'm gonna know I, I think i brought it up on my on my um totally disconnected like the, the, the thoughts are just coming to me um <laughs> the other day i did vlog that um I had to cancel our vacation man had like two vacations planned one for this month and then one for a little further down not this month it would have been the ending of april um but i believe we would have still been on it you know and like that had to be cancelled like we were supposed to like fly and go somewhere else but i'm just bummed because a long time we're not doing nothing you know and i was like yeah man 2020 at a year time for come out and that was just how i was feeling i know a lot of people were looking forward to this year like for like greater things like for great great success and just you know for upgrade themselves overall and then it, this is this just go for sure you say your life can just hit you in the face anytime like you can never be too concrete with any form of plan in a life nothing at all no matter how you feel like you have everything under control when god said no go sit down and that him say like you think that you have it all figured out and life just happens so all in all Nita, like just try to keep a level head try for just be mentally strong because yo there's going to come a time or times in your life when mental toughness is all that will allow you to survive honestly no more no money no no you'd realize the time we're living on like not even the rich can like escape what is going on and i encourage everybody to just go and wall and go and wall out because guess what we're all in this together believe it or not you know and i believe and i know it has to be greater when everything done like me personally i don't expect everything to go back to normal i i expect it to be better i feel like everything happens for a reason and so I just feel like everything should be better at the end of this journey. This whole little thing that we're going through. It has to be. I don't want it to go back to normal. I want it to be better. Like I feel like God, I try to open up what I try way quick up. Cause my naga line now. Some things are going into the world. Like I don't even want to get too specific. And when my sister and things are saying. 
and none of my business that yeah I'm just push and go on through me just feel like this is a time for you to sit down and look in your life as a general start like what would I have learned from this you know like how would I have become a better person you know for myself for my family just you know overall you know and I've been doing a lot of that myself like I've been really like I'm an overthinker first of all I don't know if I've ever shared that but I'm really an overthinker I am I overthink everything and sometimes I get lost in my own head I'm I, I'm in my own little world I create my own stories within myself and sometimes that's just so bad like this is this is a super vulnerable moment but it's so true um now I'm gonna go in with the black like further into the crease and give it like a really nice depth there but yeah like I can be in my own head man and that can be a killer so a lot of times what I do to get me through my days and it's not just know me I do it like a little I listen a lot of motivational speakers and stuff like just random people you know random people to never feel you know you have Les Brown you have Eric Thomas um you got you got so much different people you know i even have it on my phone sometimes when i'm driving i'm listening to motivational stuff you understand and the other day like i'm just going off like i'm just going off into different places like i just really wanted to sit and talk to you guys today like overall because i feel like it's been a while and i just wanted to come back down here with you i know i've been just like doing so much beauty oriented stuff but you know sometimes it's good for sit down and talk to you know? so like yeah like um i i i even posted on my instagram the other day where like a lot of people constantly ask me how do you manage to stay so motivated and i the truth is half probably even more than half of the time i am not motivated no matter how much motivational speakers i listen to that means so once i'm done like, like yeah probably after i'm done like it lasts it's within me the thought like the lesson whatever they told me whatever i learned from watching that video or just listening to the audio i take something from it like listening to those stuff just it really uplifts my spirit but like i can tell you for sure like it doesn't control my 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 actions it doesn't really um, control my actions it's like it just it just help I don't know how to explain it but that is temporary at the end of the day it's all about how disciplined you are like no matter what you go through at all if you're not disciplined if you're not disciplined you will not achieve anything for the long term like depending on what you want to do once you want to like if you really want to see true growth I say establish a form of routine and try to stick with it you know like how them say you can develop a habit over 21 days try to really challenge yourself you know I'm always trying to challenge myself so that's really how I get my goals how I achieve my goals and trust me right now as of right now that we speak I have some I have some goals I have some goals that sometimes there have been times when I'll be like yo me i don't really do all of that like me and some of those goals are so far-fetched like i've never even shared some of those things with you ever before if uh, if not most <laughs> i've never shared most of those things with you guys here before because they're so far-fetched from what i do here on youtube like my long-term goals are so like <sighs> you know and i'm really like for instance people always ask me about the gym again as i, I always speak about it and it's not it's not just about the gym for me like that form of discipline that i have when i'm lifting weights i try to apply that form of discipline in every aspect of my life because at the end of the day i am the one that's really steering the direction in which i'm going like without me pushing no one is going to push me you know so yeah and it no matter like 
sometimes you have some people like every little thing them go through them complain like me not say enough of vent and so but like for me personally sometimes you have to be sure that you're venting to the right person and trust me that might sound easier than it actually is in real life because guess what you have some people out there where you think is your friend some people that you think are rock with you people where you have come from far with you think say yeah man no man a family this you know don't your own relatives sometimes can betray you like that so you are for sure say you have been to the right person if you can do without having to always going to someone to vent then I would suggest you do that sometimes I just I, I just I know it's not healthy and that's why some people try to probably lean to therapy in him um, eventually me think like for just casually get up and tell people your your, your business like I I don't think it's always a wise move. like that's just me me is a very like I'm very observant and I'm very low-key I'm very low-key very low-key and if you've been watching me for a long time if you probably know me personally or you you know that I'm very low-key I try to just stay in a little corner and I just do my thing when I trouble nobody when I business about nobody like trust me I've been in some environments where a lot of people would be like yo she not eat no she a car like but just got through my respect everybody but give everybody respect that's me I'm not judge I'm not, I'm not judge nobody you know at the end of the day everybody have them own a life to live so like me just go through but like if I am going through anything I definitely mean a quick for talk you have to protect your peace you have to protect your peace in this time that we live especially now everybody in the quarantine and everybody want like entertainment so you have to know where and who you're talking to so now i'm gonna be using this concealer again and this is what i'm gonna use to create my cut crease today um and oh my gosh one thing i found out with this i actually like this because the other day i used it to create a cut crease and i think it's my last week video that i did the one with the silver hair and i allowed this to dry down completely before i applied the shadow i think it was it was just so much easier to work with like that to me man it is so crazy because I really wanted to take a breather this year I've like been working so hard been working so hard but not wrong now because guess what you need to all be for other people that still have a job you need to be grateful because there's a lot of people out there just because they can't go outside things just completely pause for them so even though we still have to be working and stuff and we're here like talking about we wish this like me i'm talking about i should have been on vacation and i wanted to take a break there's a lot of people out there wishing that they never had to take a break so at the end of the day no matter what you think you are going through that's so bad somebody's always out there that's going through worse so you need to be very mindful of how you come off sometimes with things like no i just even it's like me i tell about myself say yo calm down because you couldn't have nothing i don't none at all yeah you, you understand so like we just need to be so grateful the outer portion here i feel like i'm gonna go back with black just to give it that depth I, you know i realize i like to create more of a half crease more than a, a full like all the way out um cut crease i don't know why i feel like that's just next level dramatic and i don't always want to look that dramatic you know 
It was my preference, I guess. this glitter here like some nice silver glitter this is from NYX and it says glitter brillance professional makeup face and body glitter so I'm gonna use this um, the glitter adhesive here it's from sister um, sister cosmetics it's a glitter primer this is so much life for me like I love using it it makes everything way easier so to base this the eyeshadow I'm gonna use is actually this really light, the lightest in the palette, this one here. It is like 95% dry. So I'm gonna start applying my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna apply this and then go ahead and apply the glitter primer and the actual glitter over top. So I'm gonna kinda just speed through the section just a little bit. Let's see how me know if me stay here and talk to one right out for the whole half of the year. Probably on the sit down for I want good two hours. You see when me start up, man. <laughs> when me start up, me just start branch off, you know what, bag a different avenue. And you see, because I want to finish today and not tomorrow, mega speed through that part here. Alright? I applied a little bit of brown in the area here to kind of just help with the blending a little bit um, so I'm gonna go in with this white liner from NYX it's the it's a white liquid liner and it is blanc that that's the name of it so you know adding the little fine lines kind of help to accentuate the eye look a little so I'm just going to add it down here I'm not doing a wing today not feeling that today so I'm actually wondering if I should put it up here or I should put it down here I don't know I'm just gonna um, should I put it down there uh, or up here no I'm gonna put it down here okay okay so that's a nice tinsy white line and it's not doing the most like I really don't want to do the most so I feel like that it was a good decision putting it right there even though it's still dramatic, now get me wrong, I know it's still dramatic, but it's not doing the absolute most. I don't know, something I tell myself to put one little swoosh up at top. I, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling that, but I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apply the lashes. I really don't want to. I really don't want to do the most. You know, sometimes when you do these dramatic looks, you can get carried away. That's me. I'm thinking that I should probably go with some big lashes. You know, big lashes just always really carry off these eye looks like a lot. No, I'm gonna do something just nice and flary. Just nice and flary. And I'm gonna use one of my lashes from this lash company. Um, it's a luxury mink lashes by Sugar Lux Beauty. And this is. Ooh. This is the style Foxy.
As you can see, I'm all the way like at the end portion. So all I'm going to do is brush yeah, it. <laughs> can okay. you shut up? Fed through the face portion just because you guys know that for a while I've been doing that. I feel like I've done a thousand videos just doing my makeup, even though it's been a while since I'm um, doing my face makeup, even though it's been a while since I've done that. The eyes are not that makeup. Guys, if you hear that person in the background, it's divine. Divine say hi. No, he just want to look. No, he's just looking. He don't want to say no, no more. He wanted to critique on my makeup. And now that I tell him to say hi, he's silent. Yo, you're messing up people. Go and big up for the service. Nobody know what you're doing. Now I just want to glow up the skin, so I'm going to just spray my entire face, and then I'm going to go in with my El Maquillage. You guys know that I love my El Maquillage Material Girl Baked Highlighter. This gives you the perfect glow, golden glow for melanin like myself. I'm gonna do my favorite lip combo. I'm sorry. I really wanted to do something out of the box, but mm, I'm leaning towards my favorite combo, which is you know a nice brown and a nice nude. This is more of like a corally kind of. This is more like a corally like shade. So this is one we're using. Um, this is from Elena Cosmetics. It's in. Really, It's in Adam. I'm going to be putting Adam all over the center of my lips along with this other Lena um, yeah, put Anna, put Steve, put Kevin, put any other you want to put fire on <laughs> How everything is looking. All I did was really lay the roots. I went ahead and wrapped it with the initial, you know, little waves that came with it. And this is how it's looking. You know, as I said, not toned, nothing at all. This is exactly how it is out the package. And this really just helps you guys to see exactly what you're getting when you're purchasing, you know. So I, I really wanted to do this so you guys could, you know, see how it is exactly before I go ahead and customize it further. You saw that I went in and I did a little bit of extra plucking and that was pretty much it. And I laid the roots. That was it. And for the makeup look, I was just being very, you know, I was just winging it today basically. So I hope you guys could appreciate that. And you know, um, as I said, I didn't want to just chat out the whole video because then the video would be extremely long. That's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know if you like this. I'm going to be sure to put all the specifications on the hair down below. I can't wait to go ahead and I'm not going to tell you guys what color I'm going to do, but it has been suggested by quite a number of you guys for some time now. And I'm gonna give you uh, no, I'm not gonna give you no hint. <laughs> if I tell you that, I'm not gonna know. So like, you just have to stay tuned, and you'll see what color I transform this into for the next video. So just go and stay tuned. Go and make up for yourself because I love you guys. <laughs> Yes, don't forget to subscribe to my um, vlog channel if you're not subscribed already because you guys know your girl is trying to keep up on that channel as well. I try my best to do weekly vlogs over there right now. So yeah, just go ahead and check that out. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. So until then, bye!